Welcome back to Suited and Booted, guys. I'm your host, Jerome. To my left, we have... Lord Mahazi. To my right... GD, Gavin Denise. We were meant to have on a guest. Fell through. So we pull through. That's what happens. A uh, few good topics to get into today. Can I just say that I played fives for the first time in God knows how long last night and I'm sore. It's, it's ages catching up to me. I used to be able to play every night of the week and now I'm just, uh, well, I'm fucked. How'd you go? I bagged a few, asked Nor. Did you play good? <laughs> <laughs> it was three. It was three. No one toe pokes like me as well. I'm a genius at that. And there's one spin I did that's on camera that'll be coming out that no one will believe <laughs> that I did, but you'll see it. It just depends what IQ of player I have around me. Three, was it? Two in the warm-up? No. Nah. Oh. It was me, you know, Gotti. Me, Gotti. Man, our team was good. Gotti? What is he called Gotti? Isn't that 50 Cent's best mate? No, that's Gotti. This oh. is Gotti. All right. Yeah. But so toe bashes, huh? Okay. I, let me put, your, we, ki- let me put your kids like- on. Let me put your kids on. Toe pokes are for elite strikers. That's true. I'll tell you why. When you don't have the space to, do, to wind up or do a full motion or you're in a tricky position, a toe poke is going to give you A, extreme accuracy, B, a lot of power, and C, it'll catch the keeper off guard because you don't know where it's coming from. So every single time I'm going to cut in, there's going to be a few defenders in the way, I'm going to put my toe through it, and it's going to end up in the bottom corner. <laughs> Top this, three toe pokes ever. Uh, Ronaldinho's got one where he's standing still That's and so he good. just pops it. Did a bit of samba. Yeah, that was against Chelsea too. Yeah. I think Frank... No, Frank doesn't have one. I always remember... Suarez. Um, Suarez. Suarez was good And um, Oscar... Do you ever remember Oscars from outside the box? No, nah, I was on a toe poke. Trust You're me. You're talking about the curl one. That was against Juve. I remember that, yeah. yeah. I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about a different one. At, At Chelsea. Chelsea, yeah. Mm, I, should, I should remember it. I'm not too sure. There is one more killer. You know what? Guys, listen to BTFS. If it works for you, <laughs> it works for you. That's true. And but just po- don't toe poke well, past. Let's, let's be honest. Hey, the outside of the boot... Luka Modric, Koresma. Oh, that's God. Yeah. No, but I, yeah. I'm saying for toe pokes, they're frowned upon. You they know? are. Well, imagine at like a development level. Yeah, you're getting kids to toe kids, poke it. What? No, I'm not. It's, it's like, it's it's violating my own philosophy. Mm. But of if a kid's toe poking the ball. And he's scoring goals. No, like let's say you're doing a passing drill. Yeah, yeah. And that's he's enough. toe poking yeah, the ball, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's going to the target. Yeah. What do you yeah. do? That's against my philosophy completely to correct him in that situation. But Yeah, but do you have something in place for, do you have something in place for broken toes? No, that's what I said to him. I said if he, if he keeps doing it, I have to take his toes off. Because I, I r- nearly feel my toenails ripping off when I do it. Yeah. Mine are mine yeah. are off. Well, stop posting those by the way. <laughs> like oh, I'll be scrolling on Insta and it's what just is that? Fucking, you it's know you know what? It hasn't actually clicked to me that that's been happening. Because I just click straight off it. But that but now I'm just realizing <laughs> no love. he's posting his toes on Instagram. No, ripped off toenail, not just toes. <laughs> <laughs> Athlete sweet. You know, Rashid said that to me. He goes, Gav, what's your one insecurity to go with my toes? And he goes, you know what? You should be proud of them toes. That's an athlete's foot. Do you remember we had that conversation? I think I do, yeah. <laughs> oh, mate, football's, footballer's toes. Mine are good. Footballer's <laughs> what? Even after doing toe bashes. <laughs> oh, let's get off this shit. Anyway, toe pokes are awesome. Kids, try it out. Only when you need to, though. You know, don't toe poke free kicks and shit. That might I think in futsal, proper. 100%. But then you've got the harder, the harder front yeah. on futsal for that. Ah, yeah. yeah. I like futsal, and it stays but I don't. Down. Futsal's a better game than football. Nah, it's not. Let's come on. No, it's not. I've played it's some good futsal Futsal's games. a more enjoyable game than football. No way. To play. There's, there's so many aspects. To play. That are, I would not say, to support, not to watch. Oh, I not, know that. But to play. You reckon? I think so, yeah. Mm. Small sided. To be fair, like I, it's too I, much. I, like for me, <laughs> for me, it depends. <laughs> for me, it depends where you're playing. Like as if you in, play football oh, with yeah, good players, uh, yeah, that's true. good squads and everything, football's enjoyable. That's true. Yeah. If you play it in like a mid team and you're doing ten Ks and touching the ball six six times a game, then yeah, I that's think, true, yeah. I think one game trumps all. Outdoor cage five-a-side is the best form of ball sport. 
I don't like cage. I love outdoor cage. cage. Outdoor cage with uh, with artificial. No, nah, with a decent shit, sized man. goal. Perfect. Nah, that's shit. It's perfect. And I everyone's hate, so hate, angry. You know what I don't like about everyone's cage? Everyone's so angry. Yeah. <laughs> that's why it's awesome. <laughs> you know what I don't like about cage is it it makes ship. Sorry, no, it doesn't. Bad players use the wall. No, that's true because they know yes. the system. Yeah, they, they use the wall. You're all wrong. So you can be a bad and they just passer. Turn their back to you. Yeah, you can't you can be a them. bad passer. No, you're all wrong. And just let it hit the wall. And it's like <laughs> no, you oh, don't because it's on, it's man. all trajectory. What you're no. gonna pass it off the wall and then it's gonna automatically go to your player. Yeah, it most of work these like people that. are good at physics and geometry, man. So they use that. The to cunts their I play fives with don't even know what those words mean. <laughs> you can't tackle properly. Like you go That's up against a yeah. the fence. These I weird rules. Them. No headers. Uh, you can't no tackle from behind. Yeah, I've played weird. It doesn't weird football have cage. no headers? What? No. Nah. No. I've never. Okay, I'll tell you also. You the, can't slide tackle in football okay. either. Also, let me just tell you this. The problem with cage, and I don't know if this is because of the demographic that plays cage or whether That's, it's that's... cage brings this out of people. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. <laughs> they, this, this. Pull someone's shirt a little bit like this. What the fuck's your problem, man? <laughs> it's sick. And you're like, what? What? Actually, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> These two are never coming to Tuesday nights then. <laughs> like ever. Because they will hate it, judging off what they're saying right now. Oh, some of us grew up in the streets, they man. What can I say? They start throwing their elbow around, like flicking their arms out at you. When you've just like nudged them a little bit, you're not saying that you doesn't happen problem, in eleven aside. You have a problem. Have you played state league? No, maybe if you're actually doing something wrong. But when you're just doing normal football, like little pulls, little pushes, these guys are getting wound you up come and wanting once? to punch up. Can you come just once and play? <laughs> <laughs> no. Just, why not? All right. <laughs> okay, someone's scared. You. Uh, <laughs> No, we do have to train for our um, competition. What's the competition called again? Rhythm Cup. Oh, by the way, two, some, two someone, three months we start. Training. Someone made us jerseys. Yeah. Shout out. Um, let me get his name. Can we get an image of the jersey? Yeah, I've got it. I'll put it on the screen. That's sick. His name Thank is you. Luke Fennick. Thanks, Luke. So these are what the jerseys look like. <laughs> get them on the screen. Get, so oh, that's see. elite. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it looks like Peruvian or something. We need the mate Peru. cup. It's hey, Diodora. That's pretty cool, man. That's sick. With, with the, the mate, collar? with the mate, and then Lord Mahazi on the back. I'm nine, obviously, but I should be eleven, Luke. If hey, you've been listening to pod, I'm an eleven. Can I be completely honest? As you were turning that phone around, I was thinking these are going to look shit, and I'm going to have to. Nope. I'm going to have to like go. Oh, that's but cool. they look Thanks, good, Luke. don't they? And it's actually mad. They're hard. That's quality, Luke. <laughs> Papa Kev is number one. Noor's number Kev's six. Easy. Kev's got a Kev's jersey. Made it. <laughs> Dino Durakovic, number three. GD's eight. Lord Mahazi's five. I'm nine. That needs to be changed to 11, Luke, but thank you very much can for that. Can you do at some point when, you're, when we're playing, can you sub yourself off for Dino and come <laughs> yeah, back in with his new ma- mannerisms? <laughs> I'm going to go into the toilets <laughs> and go, <laughs> and then I'm going to walk out a different guy. Yeah, we do need to start training. <laughs> They're already bitching about it last night. Are saying, they? oh, what, you're going to bring in an ex A league player and Gavin? And I'm like, man, they're washed. And also Kevin. <laughs> I, said, this guy's got, <laughs> I said, this guy's got no knees. This guy's put on 20 kilos since yeah, he's played. I'm a bodybuilder. You're a bodybuilder now. When was the last time you kicked a ball? Like what? in, in that environment. Yeah, what, in cage? No, like in, a prof- like in a competitive environment, I should say. Would we call that competitive? Rhythm Cup is competitive. Are you... <laughs> Rash. I'm just trying to wind him up. We could no, get two. We could get. We could get a thousand dollars to go towards certain boot. A thousand? I'm pretty sure that's what. What do you have to put into play? Oh, it's like what is it? 40, 50 bucks a play or something? Two fifty each. Something like. So that. is the is the is the money just what people are putting in? No, is that no. they're putting in for it. Yeah, eh? they get sponsors. JD, Nike, whatever. Well, we okay. Gotta, we got to win, cool. and it's yeah. my ego. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I mean, you's all got to go I'm home and think, oh, I got, we got to play for Jerome's ego. Yeah, yeah. How many minutes per game? I'm not too sure of the format, uh, but it's we can beat whoever's there. Wait, when did you say it ends again? Sorry, it'll be like October, November. <laughs> okay, now. Is he gonna be around? I don't give I'm a gonna fuck. be a joker. <laughs> what do you mean you're gonna be? What do you mean you're fine? You, you, hey, you, gonna, you gotta get Kevin running, man. How is he soon. gonna perform? What happened to that? I got two more months. Two more months. Okay. Yeah, that's plenty. No, anyway, two more months until yeah. I start oh. running. 
Anyway, we won't we won't end up playing. Who are we kidding? Um, first topic on the agenda is just been announced today. There'd been some rumors going around that Tony Popovich has left Melbourne Victory after a three year stint with the club. Uh, was it mutual? Or was it a sacking? Well, we don't know is the answer. I mean, the short answer is we don't know. We can assume things. But, um, yeah, I guess we don't know. But it seems like there's been a bit of a clean out at Victory in general. Oh, tell me more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, from my sources, 20%, 20% um, restructuring of... You're telling uh, me twenty percent of twenty percent of let their go. stuff. Yeah, yep, yep. That's what I'm. That's what I'm hearing. That's the word on the street. I'm not sure. I'm not. It's not being confirmed, but a bit of a restructuring going on there. And I would say, to be fair to Tony, it was worse, much worse, in much worse shape before he came in. He's come in and done. Oh, he's moved things around in a positive <laughs> way. Let's say. But then, in typical A League fashion. <clears throat> The team that comes last ends up in the final the next year. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. such an A-League thing. Yeah. It's not very over... I feel like with the A-League, you can never tell who's going to win at the start of the season. Yeah, yeah. Whereas in the Premiership, you can sort of you can sort of gauge who's going to be up there. But, like, you never know with the A-League. You never know. Yeah. So 20% of the staff... I mean, I was told things. I yeah. don't know whether... Or not to say certain things. Mm. I don't think it's that bad. Mm. I'll say it, and then if you think we should get rid of it, then we'll get rid of it. Okay. I was told uh, from a source that um, that uh, the the plan of action allegedly was to cut down where they thought it wasn't a, uh, a necessity in certain yep. sectors of the club, and put that towards. The football side, so like player wages, upping stuff like that, and it's sort of the mentality is if we can just keep winning on the field, everything else will fall into place. That's what yeah. I've been told. I don't know yeah. if it's true or not. Well, um, yeah, I mean, we can only speculate. We but can that only would speculate. make sense that that would be where they would take. Well, where else take from? Like, like it's a football business. If you're so if you're if you're trying your to main cut product costs, is the football. They think if they keep winning, they're just going to get more fans through the gate. Make money that way. Which is true. Well, it's true. Like, if you take away from the promotional side of the game, saying we don't need as much on promotion or whatever the community yeah. or whatever the, the, the sector is that they've cut down on, yeah. then really at the end of the day, I think, obviously I don't know very well, but personally I would think if your team's doing good on the field, that's probably the most important. Well, I mean, surely you just look at the fan, how, how the fan... Um Attendance changes based off when p- clubs are doing being successful and not. Obviously, it goes up. But I mean, I don't think it's. No, I def. I definitely don't agree that it's the only important thing because I am not the only, massive no. on thinking how important community stuff is oh, and yeah. all that. Definitely not but, the only. Yeah, it's yeah. probably a a priority, not the priority. Yeah. Um. But we're probably also in a period. <coughs> I mean, there's also a lot of speculation going on around. Um, the financial issues across the board for clubs in the A League. Newcastle Jets just got bought. Newcastle Jets have just been bought, so their been fans saved. are over the moon. Yeah, they've been sorry, they've been saved, as yeah. you've just said. Um, so that's really good for them because they were one of the clubs that uh, was struggling, along with Mariners, who ended up winning the league. Uh, so Maverick Sports Partners has bought Newcastle Jets. Uh, the deal will allow the uh, clubs, men's and women's teams to remain in the A-League. So if there's a headline like that, then they were going to be out of it. Um, So I don't know too much about Maverick Sports, but um, I guess it's good for the league. It's good for Jets. Two new teams or one, sorry, one new team coming in next year, Auckland. They're up and about. Left wing, right wing, whatever wing. They've signed the Japanese international. So that's good for them. I guess. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, I think the A-League will... Uh, it'll be an interesting one next year. It's always an interesting one in the A-League. But just the last thing on the A-League, uh, I know why my numbers were sort of fucked up last week. With what? With the crowd? Yeah. Okay. I was probably right on every single one of them. 
thing is, I was reminded today by a good friend of mine that the numbers were skewed because of one or two particular games. So Sydney FC, yep. they were the highest. Yep. Probably only because they had two derbies that were like 70,000 people. Mm, <laughs> yes. And Melbourne, Potentially. And Melbourne City, because it's averaged, obviously, and Melbourne City were higher than I expected because of the two derbies. Yeah, but can I still can I still just you're still wrong? <laughs> no shit, but it's I like. I if, get what if you're we, saying. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, Obviously, yeah, I'm still saying. wrong, but like, yeah. like sort of not. <laughs> yeah, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah you know what okay. I mean. It's just whatever way yeah. you want to look at it yeah. at home. Actually, just go on. Just a quick, quick uh, side note on last week's episode. I had a friend tell watch our episode and tell me that he has a theory which he believes is backed by some kind of observational facts, <laughs> which is, you know that Sue? Yes. That, that is from I Show Speed and not Cristiano Ronaldo. Meaning it was popularized by him within no. the youth, not Cristiano Ronaldo. No, that's wrong. I'll tell you why. Okay. The way Speed says it, is suey. Yeah, so apparently that's <laughs> the way the majority of the youth say it. Um, I don't know if it was popularised. I think it just went down another avenue of people making a meme out of it because everyone used to just do sue. I used to think it was sue. It's C. Yeah, yeah. It's just sue. So it sounds like a U a little bit, but yeah, it's, yeah, I used yeah. to think it was S-I-U. It's not. It's just C. It's S-I-U. It is like S-I-U. I've been told that it's C. It's Wait, just pronounced it S-U, S-U. Isn't it? Isn't it S U I? Actually. Oh well, yeah. S-U. Yeah. Sorry. S U I. But I think yeah. it's just him saying C in Portuguese, like C. Yeah, yeah. I, of yeah. course it is. Of course. Yeah. Hey, you know, I've got a great story. I thought it was, story. I thought it was some other shit, like Sue. <laughs> <laughs> we I've all did. A, Let's go. So really? When I was in Portugal, we played against uh, a team in Madeira, where Cristiano was from, and as we're going down on the on the um, tunnel, yeah, in the aeroplane to land, oh. it goes here, just arriving at Cristiano Ronaldo Airport because that's what it's called. And the whole aeroplane went, Stoo! really? Yeah, adults, yeah, everyone, everyone, adults. <laughs> no, I asked this because he was adamant. He's like, No, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's I show speed. I've got that video. every kid does it because of I show speed, not Ronaldo. And he was uh, adamant. No, I said that. Come on, uh, is this Jake? Uh, no. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, it's a cool theory. Yeah. And I see where he's coming from because Speed did make it... He, Speed didn't make it a thing. He sort of, again, moved it to a whole new audience. That well, that's what I mean. Because it's, it's very weird if you think about it. There's been so many celebrations. There's so many celebrations. So many people love Messi and all these other players and whatever. It's so popular that it's almost like it has to be more from a streamer. You reckon? It kind of makes sense. Like it's so famous. But more people know it's Ronaldo such than Speed. A meme. I know, but it's such a meme thing that it's almost like I don't know. It's so, so popular. Your friend is saying that Speed made it more popular than Ronaldo did. Yes. To the young audience. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now we're adding. Okay. To to the like, young kids. If he made it more popular to the younger kids that maybe weren't as big in football, then yes. Yeah. But if it's just made it popular to football fans, then no. And you know what? How's this? Then he had an extension to this, which was Damn, he said he's a speed conspiracist. He said that he has legitimately heard kids started football because of I Show Speed. And this goes to my point on last week. Your friend's a genius. I take it back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They have like my little cousins, for example. Uh, it's AFL. My whole family's AFL. Mm. Right? Couldn't give two shits about. The real football. It's only me and Max. My little cousin, they both play AFL, but all the content they watched is all football-based. So Sideman, KSI, Speed, um, you know, who else is there? Baytees, who else? Beta Squad. I feel like a lot of footy players Chunks. are like this, though. They love... Oh, bro, yeah. footy players, yeah. AFL players love a football celebration. And FIFA. Jack Ginovan of Hawthorne's been doing the Rashford... They've been doing the Victor Jokerez, however he does it. 
I've seen people do the Dabala one, however the fuck he does it. <laughs> Footy players love it. They love... Really? I didn't know I've this. seen the Cold Palmer. Has anyone really? ripped out the C? For sure. sure. Uh, for sure. For sure. So football in the content space is literally making people want to be involved. Because like, I'll talk to my, my younger cousin and I'll be like, cuz, he's a gun at AFL, by the way. But he's also good at football. Like, he's, he's naturally talented. And I'm like, look how much more exciting... This world is yeah, like there's yeah. so many more moving parts. Yeah, it's so dynamic. Yeah, it's yeah. so dynamic, and even so though, much cultures. That's what. That's what. So many weird different things that you everyone know? sees. Okay, best celebration. What do you think? Or let's say top three for you. What of all time or now? Top three. Actually, can I just go my <laughs> the worst one? It's so I feel so bad saying it because he's such a baller. Foden. Yeah, what is it? That thing. Uh, that's hard. You don't like Do it? Do you like it? I sort of like it. What? Yeah, I'm sort of like it. Oh, I think it's so bad. He scores these mad goals. What do you want to do? What would you like him to do? Are you, are you one of these guys? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just like, like a back fist, in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Just like hey. a... <laughs> yeah, like a 60s. <laughs> like, ah. Uh, hey, wait, why is everything back in the day on two times speed? Like, it's, like, it's always like... <laughs> Yeah, NBA back in the day, it's like played on. They're playing on speed. He's like, <laughs> so what's your favorite? Uh, probably Raquel, man. I can't even do it in here. I can't do I'm it. Sick in of here, these fucking Argentinian. Fucks. Nah, but it's so good. What's yours? A Romario airplane. Yeah. What do you mean? Just like, did he used to do that? Yeah. That could be considered something else. That's Romario, so right? Romario's proper gangster. Yeah, I know. I've seen, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Look, besides... What about the- Alan Shearer? Yeah. yeah. Well, make sure you that make sure you... Oh, is it like that? that? Yep. Is it like that? Yeah, that might make something else. <laughs> um, Wait, is it... Did, yeah, he, did he not do that? She- yeah, it was like that. It was like that. Decanio made it move no, down yeah, a I bit. No, yeah, I was, I was yeah. definitely... I was you vertical. were straight. I was vertical. Yeah, I right. <laughs> yeah, was vertical. You say, <laughs> <laughs> let's do a player each, see who gets the celebration first. Messi. Uh, I can't do that joke. I can't do that joke. What? No, nah, there was, was a, joke, a joke, but you... No, I can't. That wasn't even a no, joke. No, no, no. I was going to say something that I can't say. Yeah, okay. Don't say it. What's, yep. what's Messi's? I actually don't even know, bro. What is it, man? Come on. Isn't yeah, it just that? that? He always does the cross and then... Ah, oh, yeah. And the shirt. He's done the shirt. But that's not a celebration, nah, bro. That's not, he's Messi. not known for it. Well, I do like Harry Kane. He's only Kane's. scored a thousand. <laughs> Harry Kane's jumping. Yes. I like that one. Ooh, Suarez. Yeah, the three. That's, that one. That's, yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. That's a mad one. That's My good. favorite is not even the best. It's just what I've connected with and what I used to do was the was the drug, but like that. And oh, then the knee slide. that's oh, good. Yeah. That's that good. Is good, man. That was my, that was, obviously, now like oh. the young kids love the cold oh, palmer. When the kids do... Um, yeah, yeah, that's Harland, good. I like the that. Meditator. It's creative. It's creative. There's been some like... Some celebrations are like... Go over the top like uh, I think it was Bullard where he sat all the kids in a circle and went like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then there's the bowling pin one. Yeah. Or the or the flying salmon. Yeah, that one. What do we think about the the Brazilians and the? <laughs> the yeah, I mean, <laughs> wow, yeah, give us a bit of Jason bad. Derulo. I mean, it's Peter Crouch. Give us a Peter Crouch, Jerome. Peter Crouch. Yeah. <laughs> I love Crouch. Jason Derulo last week. That was so good. Yeah, I hit that. Did you hear the Peter Crouch one the other day? Peter Crouch? Uh, Yeah, on the pod? No, I didn't. What do you mean? No, I was just... But you know what? Sorry to go back South America, but I do love that. Mm. The knee slides. I love that. No. (laughs) That's the Simeone. No, just when they're like, they have their arms down by their side. (sighs) South American, man. So performative. What's Nays? Um, What's Neymar's? Neymar. I haven't seen him score Neymar. in about three I think years. he just hangs oh, actually, out with his sister. Mbappe's, that's Mbappe's. cool. That's good. Does yeah. anyone, has anyone done the Mr. Slatans? McMahon? <coughs> has anyone done Oh, the yeah, that one's really yeah. cool. Yeah, that has one's... anyone done that? I don't think I've Probably. ever seen it. Probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that was hard. I used to do that just, just around the house. Like, okay, okay, okay. Best celebration ever? Um, <laughs> uh, Robbie when, Fowler's. No, uh, what's his name? Italy World Cup, uh, Grosso, Grosso, yeah. <laughs> just crying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the best. That's the just best. You don't right? know what to do. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> he couldn't believe it. <laughs> hey, Italy, Italy, we're going back to back on the Euros. I say where because I'm half Italian. It's the only time I care about Italy. 
Let's try. Hey, if they're if they're starting to get into the finals, we're on Ligon. True. Oh, I was on Ligon last time. It was. It was. Well, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. The I'm, stream was horrible. I'll be there. Oh, was it? Yeah. I re- <laughs> we were in Ligon last time for Italy in the Euros, and there was probably about four or five thousand at the square at like four a.m. in the morning, and oh, we were watching it on a projector off some wog guy's laptop, right? <laughs> and the stream was this. The str- <laughs> Hey, HDMI well, cable. What, because the official stream wasn't working. So no, no, no. Like, I'll explain. I got my laptop. In my I'll guard. explain. I'll explain. He was we, like, ciao ragazzi. Let me explain. <laughs> so he had his laptop on Optus Sport plugged into the projector. But because when you're in a spot where you're trying to use your mobile data and everyone else is yeah. on their phone, mm. yeah, yeah. it's horrible. So then England yeah. score yeah. and already someone on their phone ruined it because the stream was two minutes <laughs> behind. So then people started arguing or whatever. <laughs> and then Italy score. And again, the same thing happened. People said, oh, but it hadn't happened on the screen yet. Oh, yeah. And then the stream Swear. completely cut out. And then everyone just dispersed. And they were trying to find different cafes and pubs yeah. and bars to try to watch it. I wow. ended up watching the penalty shootout. I was about 20 meters away from a cafe door. They had a TV on. And because I'm tall, I was on my tippy toes and I could see half the screen. So maybe I was like, do I go oh, back to Ligon? But afterwards, it was mad. But surely there's maybe some kind of that. official gotta, thing that they can sort out. Yeah. Not this. Who's even fe- cut even, off the street. Even Fed Square. Where are you going to put it in Ligon? It's tough. Yeah, Fed true. Square, was a, there was a little bit of problems here and there. Um, but yeah, we're going back to back. Um, do we think? No, honestly. No, 100%. No. I think we watched Euros, <laughs> didn't we? We watched Euros together at your place in Palermo when Italy won it. Nah, in Argentina, I don't remember. You were, no, that's, I remember. that's COVID days. You no, were traveling then. No, no. The one beforehand. Oh, what? No, Italy won twenty twenty one, and then before that was Portugal. Then before that was nah. The Italy. I remember when Pirlo scores the scores the pen. That was two thousand and eight, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Nah, it was you after two thousand twelve. Two thousand twelve. Nah. Wouldn't be 2012. I was in Melbourne in 2012. It was, I, it was, I think it was 2012. I man. remember watching a Euros at your place. How with could it be Rodrigo. in when I was here? <laughs> no, I remember, man. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. We were all in that room. No, Gav, you're wrong. They were runners up in 2012. Okay, so it was Spain. Yeah, they were runners oh, yeah. up. Yeah. yeah okay. Who scores yeah. the winner there? Probably fucking David Villa or some shit. Villa or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, I do kind of remember that. I, lo- I love international football, but I my remember. memory with it is horrible. Yes, yeah, so I'm a club guy. Uh, anyway, um, can I just say one thing? Yep. Totally off topic. Jack Grealish le- left out of the English squad. Ah, uh, that look. There's a few that 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 should have got. You've you just know. won Champions League. Yeah, You've but, just won the league. Yeah, but he didn't have the best season. That's a thing. You know, and in his position, it's so stacked. You've got like he's an attacking midfielder, or a, or a, or a you know, or a wide forward, whatever you want to call him. They've got this England is so top heavy, it's crazy. Yeah, like you know, you got Palmer, who was the best player in the world, Ballon d'Or probably should be probably. Um, you know, you got you're not going to not take Saka. You're going to take Kane. I mean, I know Kane's a centre forward, and then you've got you know Anthony Gordon's been doing well, and then you've got. Could be, I mean, yeah, they're sort of different position, but then you got Jude as well, who's an, who can play an attacking midfielder. So I see, I can see why they left Grealish out. They left Madison out as well. He was fuming. Um, there's a few players that, that were left out of the Euros, but you know how Southgate is. He trusts who he trusts, and um, they'll get eliminated in quarters. I want England to win it. I can't lie. Apparently, they're um, favourites. Nah, Fran- I'd say, I'd say it's right now, France, France would be. But oh, people are people really need to start speaking about Portugal more. I think. Oh, did you see Ronaldo's goal? By the way, yeah, he's oh, he's thirty nine. Thirty nine. He did the. What's Messi oh, doing? Hanging out with DJ Khaled. Really? Maybe so I did nice. see it. Maybe. What's Messi doing? Messi's Copa America. What do you mean, bro? He's an actor now, man. He's on Bad Boys now, bro. He's acting. <laughs> he's done. Bad football, Boys. Bro. Bad he's Boys. A, now he's become. He's transitioning into a celebrity. He has. You know. Well, I know, you know what he's going to say, man. Well, it doesn't matter, <laughs> right? Okay, let's move on. What's that thing on the, 
where he goes, have you seen that video of him going, bad boys? <laughs> I haven't seen that. Well, that's a classic case of... <laughs> what the hell, Filzy. man? <clears throat> um, I uh, wanted to bring up something. I know... <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I'm just thinking about... I'm just thinking about that video and it's the, that Argentinian guy is... He's behind him and he comes up and he, he kisses him on the cheek. And he's like, <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know the comedian, yeah. this guy is the best pod guy in art. <laughs> and he's got a pod with Messi. And Messi, what does he say? Messi's what does sitting he say? here. He's sitting in a chair and the video is just like here. And this guy like Hola, gets up amor. behind him. We got to like find kisses that. him on the neck. I'll and find Messi's it. like, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, doesn't know how to. Yeah, that's what you call. Um. Did you guys like celebrate when Argentina won the World Cup? I cried. Oh, <laughs> give me a fucking. <laughs> I cried. Oh, give me a fucking break, bro. I cried. Can I say something funny, bro? Listen, okay, imagine you say something then. Imagine Rashid is taking the penalty. Rashid's taking the penalty, and he wins the World Cup. Gonzalo yeah, yeah, Montiel, yeah, I played enough, with him. You're enough, not close enough. as. <laughs> You're not as close to Montiel as you are to Rashid. But it is fair enough. Like, if you've played with someone and they're doing well, it's... it's right, uh, you do. Yeah. There's a few yeah, people I've played with that I'd want to lose a final. Let's be really? real. Really? Oh, man. Yeah, really? <laughs> you too. Don't lie. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah on that. If I'm not I don't playing... Have if I'm not playing and like I'm that. watching a mate play... Wait, wait, Like, wait. I'm watching... It's not a mate. You know, Did you have any teammates that you despised ever? No. Nah. Lies. There's no way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's I no, did. But no none, none that I can think of off the top of my head that I've ever been watching a game and thought, I don't want them to do well. Not that oh, I, you're, not you're a nice I. guy. So just on that, him crying. <laughs> I was like, Bro, how could I not cry? Uh, just nah, it's fair enough. And it was such a... It was, it's the best game of sport ever. Yeah. I would say yes. It has to be. And then I would say it's I reckon nearly it's as good up there as Chelsea with one of the I'd... best World Cups finals ever. <laughs> wait, 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 what? What did you just? Say? I just say things to piss people <laughs> off. Just little <laughs> Easter eggs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, look, it was the best game of football I've ever seen. No, right? The best game I, of sport ever. I don't even. I don't even think other sports exist. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, but you're right. Right. Actually, like have the, you guys seen the? Oh, what game was it? Thurston, the kicks at the end. Jonathan Thurston. Man, I hate NRL, so I don't know. Oh, okay. okay. Was it a storm or was, <laughs> was it storm or was it uh no, he's, Cowboys? I can't even remember or, what, what club he was at. Or was it, it was, an origin? Oh, I can't even remember, but it was. Really? I'll say it's the second best. We'll have to find it. Someone help I us just in feel the like, but like I think it was one of the best the emotions, sporting games I've ever seen. The emotions I felt during that game was insane. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I wanted. I I really and sorry to the boys. Uh, sorry to the boys. I love you, but I despise Argentina. Um, so I was heavily Franco that night. Francophone. Uh, I was heavily wanting France to win. Uh, Argentina just has some characters in the team that just really just <laughs> rub me the wrong way. Uh, well, Dibu, I hate. Like he's probably my top. Really nice guy. Listened to a podcast him the other day. Seems like a really sound guy. On the field, though, uh, he's incredibly, incredibly easy to hate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> their midfield, they're just a bunch of hacks and they suck, even though we got Enzo. But I feel like, yeah, they're just hacks. always always complaining, always, always, you know, dirty. Argentina are dirty. Yeah, of course, yeah. You know? But hacks... Ha- I no, feel like you not say hacks, hacks when you're not a good player. No, no, no. I don't mean it like that. When I say oh. hacks, I mean like dirty challenges and oh, okay. like they're hacking well, people. So you'd rather they be nice? So just watch netball then. I'd rather them play. No, I'll go. Here we go, Mister. Hey, I have cried. You seen some, there's some there's some biffs in netball. Yeah, by the way. biffs, but, bumps, but, and bruises. But, <laughs> but have, I just I just like I didn't. I've never liked Argentina as a as a national team. Um, <laughs> so I was I wanted France to win really bad. Um, a, a, the moment, the second goal, the Mbappe, boom, boom, finish. Mbappe, man. Hey, that moment, huh? That was the best goal of the game. That's, yeah. that's, that's a hard emotional moment. So I'm in Crown Casino, <laughs> right? I, I thought I was done then. I go, nah, I'm done. Yeah, yeah good. I hope you felt bad. Yeah. I was in Crown Casino <laughs> and I'm with Olu, my mate Olu. And it is jam-packed. When I mean jam-packed, I mean thousands of people. 
right? I didn't even know how we got a spot to watch it. Hold on. It was five o'clock in the morning. So did you not sleep? So we had a hotel in the city uh-huh. and then we, we got up at like three or some shit. Okay. And then we, oh no, we didn't sleep. No, we didn't sleep. I remember. You were that excited. Well, it was just like, I was, yeah. I mean, you know. I yeah. love football more than my own family. So I was like <laughs> <coughs> incredibly love excited. Yeah, yeah. Bro, there was no French fans or no people what? going for France at all. It was just, it was 70% South Asian. So Indian, Bangladesh, Sri Lankan. All Argentinian fans. And then there was like a what? random, there was a random Arab who would get up on the table every five minutes for two hours straight, going, Messi, <laughs> and then the whole Crown Casino, Messi. I'll lose a Messi fanboy, so he was he was crying. He took his top off, I think. I'm there <laughs> hating, and then when France scored, it was quiet, and all you could hear was me and like three other people yelling. What are you yelling? Fucking oath. I was like, come on! <laughs> then at the end, all I saw was a bunch of Indian guys crying. What? They were so oh, they were so happy Stop. that Messi won the World Cup that they were crying. Wow. But they're Isn't not Argentinian. Cool? Yeah. How, oh. how Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wait. Isn't it amazing how much no. everybody <laughs> loves and respects Messi? Yeah. You know, we talked about this when we said Maradona, you walk in the room, is there any other athlete that looks that that anyone, is there anyone else that looks down at that athlete? Right now, currently, is anyone in the world, any other athlete that looks down at Messi? I feel like every athlete would look nah, down. No, no one would look down at him. He's, nah. the, he's the one. Nah, yeah. yeah. But I think, I think, uh, I was all, I always knew Messi, we're not having this convo, we're stopping it here. I always, this is the last point. I always liked Ronaldo better, but I always knew deep down that Messi was better. Okay. But I just, I preferred Ronaldo's style and uh, like attitude maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I just- but you I hate think, the Argentinian midfield. No, you're not allowed to say another comment. No. Let, me, let me just say something as well <laughs> on that. I'm allowed to double up. It's my own. No one wanted to look like Messi, cuz. Everyone wanted to look like Ronaldo. Let's be real here. 100%. No one, no one wore F50s and had bangs. Everyone was like, nah, muzzle cut, mercurials, tape. <laughs> or, hold on though, there was a lot of people doing blonde straight hair after Messi. Oh, you reckon it was him? Who else? I reckon the Brazilians started yeah, that. Cur- yeah, curlies. But, curlies. But, what, but <laughs> Caucasian people doing the blonde? Anyone before him? Nah, Beckham. What do you mean? Beckham is blonde. I never had hair to do anything. He, he did the tip. He did the... Bro, that was 20 years ago. Yeah, you're saying who started it? No. In this era. The NPL players and stuff started doing... Caucasian started doing the blonde <laughs> NPL hair. NPL players after. with the blonde hair? <laughs> <laughs> Stop that. Nah. Shit. Stop that shit. You what do you like reckon? That? Yeah. Oh, people can do whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love it now, though. Can I just uh, go back to your point of like going... How about when you're having an argument with someone and they go, no, that's it. I'm, after this, there's no more. And then they say one more thing. I'm doing that is for that time's fair? sake. Yeah, I know. But is that fair? He wasn't going to argue. I was going to say last. You know what? I said that to me because every fucking person on the world has a who's better, Messi or Ronaldo convo. Oh, that's why yeah, I was like, move I wanna, on. Yeah, I want to cut it there. It. Yeah, that's, yeah, it wasn't yeah, about yeah. Gav. Yeah, all right. Um, Let's get all right, quickly. Um, I know you guys weren't millionaires. Not yet, anyway. But you both made money off football. Um, sometimes you were getting good money. Sometimes you were getting nothing. We'll start with you, Gav. When were you making the most money off football? Shit, you might say this year. Now. <laughs> <laughs> While he's wait, not playing right wait, now. Wait, the most you've ever made is this year. What year not of this football? Year. Oh, it depends. But definitely in the NPL. Okay, so, so you've played in Portugal... No, no, not in Portugal. You were getting peanuts over there. The third, the last, the reason why I left because I went for four months. The club went bankrupt. So you've played. You weren't getting paid at River. Oh no, it's just sponsored. Sponsored, and then you you didn't get that much in Portuguese. No. Third division was it? Second, third, and you made the most money in NPL. Yeah. Okay. I don't even need to ask him this because uh, let's just say you're very frugal. 
But did you ever, when you started oh, getting- Hold on. I don't even know what that means. Do you know what that means? <laughs> I didn't want to call you a tight ass, but that's what- Let's just say you're smart with your money. Right? You, you've never been materialistic. No. So you've ne- once you got a good paycheck from football, you never thought, let me go buy something designer. Oh, uh, in Portugal, like- the Portuguese players and the and the way it is there, it's very much your Calvin Kleins and your all that sort of branding. So I did fall into that. Okay. Um, but then I did realise that it's pointless. Like, yeah, you I can look good wearing anything. So okay. <laughs> I didn't need it. Well good done, shirt. Gavin. Yeah, you know? that's good. That's good. I knew that would be his answer. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think you, you're not a big brand nah. type of person. He never has been. You do yeah. like looking good, but I yeah. don't think you. I look after myself. But yeah, I won't that's spend. Different. I know what well, I look good in. Actually, on skincare though. Yeah. Now I, I know what I look good in. Okay, but you're not. You're not like. Oh, in. I need a BMW. I nah, need a. Hate that. Hate that. Car to me, A to B, and that's it. That was nothing. No difference. Rush. Uh, it's no surprise, and that you made the most in your career in Korea. Surely, is that correct? Yeah. Of football. Yeah. You said when you got your first A-League contract, it was around 60, 70 or whatever. That probably mm. wasn't even enough to make you go, oh, I can go buy whatever I want now. Or was it? I mean, not whatever I wanted, but I mean, I could live as a normal human being off by myself independently. Okay. Yeah. So you could didn't live have, out of home. Yeah. Was, you didn't have urges okay. to be materialistic though? No, to be honest, I was kind of... I like fashion. I do. I do like nice things. Yeah, of course. I do like nice things. To yeah. be honest, I like nice things, um, but definitely not at that time. I didn't have anywhere near enough money to be buying anything nice. No, but you were what buying nice yeah. things. No, I never. I've never lived above my means. I would okay. say no. So. When you go to Korea, though, did you think, okay, I'm on really good money now. I'm going to go buy a car. Designer clothes. You know what's ironic about that period is um, I also probably spent the least amount of money that I've ever spent in my life in Interesting. that period as well. Purely because I wasn't doing anything. I couldn't go anywhere. It wasn't There was no real point to dress that nicely yeah. when I'm sitting in my apartment by myself <laughs> all day, every day. <laughs> you know? So, so to be honest, I didn't spend Watching much money at all, yeah. at all over there. Um. But I mean, it gives me, it gave me freedoms to be able to. I think one of the weird things um, about, especially within the A-League, is you have these five international spots yep. that come in. And these players come in and they have a lot of money and they've had big careers and have made heaps of money throughout their career. And so they have a certain way of living. And footballers in general have a certain affluent way of living and behaving. mm mm-hmm whether that's paying for other people's meals, whether that's, you know, Gucci toiletries bag and, mm. you know, Balenciaga top and all this and Rolex and all that, right? That You know the image in your head. When you close your eyes and you think football, what do they look like when they walk in the chain rooms? Everyone knows what it looks like. Well, right? even at MPL level, well, I'd see that all the time. Yeah. So then you've got these Aussie players that are on school teachers wage, not nothing against school teachers, yeah. but they're like, they're not on a... They're not on a European footballer's wage. Yep. And then hanging around these people and trying to look like that and be like that, it's a difficult place to be, huh? Yeah. So you were just watching that, though. You weren't obviously trying to fit in in that sense. I've not not in like a not in an arrogant way or anything, anything like that. I have never really been much of a follower at all. I, to be honest, at that time I was probably sh- still um, shopping in op shops most of the time. <laughs> well, and that's Honestly. the thing. I think this is a good topic, and you also mentioned it, Jerome. The two things that stuck with me most was one of my junior coaches. He said, only buy things that you need and question yourself if you want it or if you need it. And that stuck with me, right? And then the other thing I had a coach that said to me first, try and get a place before a car because a car doesn't have a kitchen in it and you need <laughs> something where you can make food and eat. <clears throat> so... Those I, two things stuck with me so much, you know? I agree with that 80%. And the 20% of not agreeing is there is a part in there that thinks if you work super hard, then fuck it. 
Well, just, I, yeah, I, I think that as well. I don't think I'm not the type of person that thinks, oh, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. I understand people the sentiment, own, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand but, the sentiment, but yeah. people have their own. Like you said, you you're not interested in cars. People are interested in cars. Yeah, yeah. People like cars, so it's not well, necessarily about oh, making a good financial choice, but people enjoy yeah. that thing. So it's a way of yeah. life, right? And I feel like it's also knowing your place at the time, right? Like if you're an 18 year old, let's just say at Victory, and you're turning up in the brand new out like Merc yeah and then you've got Musket coming in and Musket's coming in a Civic I think that's a bit disrespectful <laughs> like you got to know your place I've heard that I've heard like, of I've there's heard a story of Roy about, Keane and all that, yeah, like that. Yeah. there's a story on Sebastian Veron when he goes back to Estudiantes after I think he was at Inter and a young boy comes in with let's just say a more poshy car than normal and he said never come in that car again he goes and, and I don't think he's made his debut and he goes, until you make your debut, then you can come. And he goes, I'll show you what a real car, in, car is. And the next guy comes in a Ferrari. <laughs> Do you reckon that's to feed Veron's ego though? <laughs> yeah, I don't know you about know? all that, man. I, I don't know if I, like, if someone likes a nice car, why can't they come in a nice car? I think- If they have the money to, if, if they have the money the to get it. Yeah. I feel like if you can buy it twice with your salary, then you should get it. I think as a leader, maybe- that's you, a nice little rule. Yeah, that, I've heard that one. Um, I think as a leader, though, in the change rooms, maybe you pull them aside and say, hey, I'm, I made some mistakes when I was younger with money. You know, just be careful. Yeah. And then maybe they can look at it a, a different way because you guys don't have to go into detail or, or, or whatever, but there are players that listen to this, obviously not players that are on millions of dollars. Or who knows? Balotelli does. <laughs> Shout out to Balotelli for giving Shout us Shout out, that. Balo. Balo. Um, but most players that listen are on a couple hundred, maybe just over a grand a week, MPL or, you know, some A-League players listen. I know that for a fact. But I know you guys aren't um, financial experts, but for young kids that are starting to get money, if they're playing MPL 2, MPL 1, maybe getting scouted by A-League teams or going overseas, what advice would you give them in terms of yeah. seeing money early that you probably haven't seen? Oh, I've seen it before. Yeah, but what advice would you give? In Argentina. How many boys that I grew up with would blow their money that were on big contracts young and now work at kiosks or cleaning cars? So your advice is to not blow it then? Not blow it. Like, but do you have a specific enjoy? thing to do? Like, you know, say, put it in property or put it here or don't touch it or give it to your parents? Like, what would you say? Well, my, my, my own situation, right? I had a decent amount behind me before I went to Portugal and then I went four months bankrupt, right? Mm. And I had to come home because I had no money. I was, had zero in my account. And that day when I, when I hit rock bottom with nothing in my account, I realised when I get back to Australia, when I can make money, I'm going to make as much as I can to never fall back in that situation. Mm. You know? Yep. So just if you, if you are a young footballer, have a backing behind you. If you do go overseas, know you can maintain yourself for a certain amount of time because if shit hits the fan, mm -hmm. you've got that to fall back on. You so know? that's that's good for players who specifically are thinking of going overseas because you never know clubs overseas, especially yeah. in the lower divisions, they fold, they don't pay you for months. That can happen if yeah, you're not, yeah. you know. Well, what would you say? Actually, you know what? <coughs> so I just realised I lied when I said I lived I lived always within my means because that just reminded me when after my, I can't remember which year, but after one of the years, my salary was going to go up. I think it was after my first or second year or whatever. My salary is going to go up. We were going, it must have been second year. And then we were going to Vegas for this trip, right? And I hadn't saved that much money. So I was like, okay, my salary is going up. So I'm going to take out a loan Ooh. so that then I can pay it back. When I come back, my salary is higher. I'll okay. be, instead of like trying to save it now, whatever, I'll just, I'll have more money next year because my salary is going up and I'll pay it back and it'll be easy. And then um, spent that money obviously over in Vegas in America and then... That period, that's very similar to yours, that period of realizing, oh, actually, there's a cost here. There's a cost here. There's, it's like, yeah, my salary's gone up, but like expenses have also gone yeah. up. And just realizing like once your salary's higher, you spend more money yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, and that experience of, you know, however long, many months it took me to pay that back, I never want to ever have that feeling yes. ever again that I'm like, yeah. So I'll never... Ne I don't, because people, people say, talk about loans. Yeah. I'll never take out a loan yeah. like that again, 
ever. Like, and people say that, you know, money that's isn't happiness. Sorry, that's why I don't do credit cards. But yeah, yeah. anyway. Money isn't happiness and all the rest of it. But let's be honest, I've been in situations where I had nothing and then I've been in situations where I have money. Money gives you that sort of freedom or that, of that feeling of security. Safety, yeah. You know? And yeah. that's so important to, to have and know, okay, I can go do this and in two weeks' time I'm going to be fine. You so yep. Gavin's advice would be to, especially if you're going overseas, have some backing. Yeah. And yep. yours would be mine. Mine would be fairly similar with absolutely everything. Um, just plan ahead. Is, well, just be you. Like no, actually, like you said, like know actually what you want, and don't do things for other people. That's that's all I'd say. So yeah, like, don't be an attention yeah, seeker. Uh, don't yeah, wear the Balenciaga. Everyone else in the chain room has yeah. Balenciaga, so I'm going to go get Balenciaga. Yeah. Do you, if you like it, go get it. That's fine. Yeah. Be Hector but, Bellerin. Yeah. Or just be, if you like it, go get it. If you like Ferraris, mad. If that's going to make you make you happy and you're going to love sitting in your Ferrari, Ferrari get a Ferrari. Yeah. But if you're doing it just because everyone else in the training room has a Ferrari or everyone else has a toiletries bag, yeah. I um, think I want to add one point before we move on to amateur agents, and that is, <clears throat> in this day and age, um, football is a very short career. If you work as, and as an accountant, sorry, if you work as an accountant, you could work for 40, 50 years. You're not going to be a footballer for 40, yeah. 50 years. You're probably going to have somewhere between maybe 5 to 15 years, somewhere between there, where you're playing at a level where you're going to get money. Um, that could vary, obviously. But then you've got to think about, okay, once I hit my sort of mid to late 30s, this could all be done. And if you don't want to go into media or you don't want to go into coaching, what else can you do in the football world? Yeah, okay, you can be an agent and stuff, but that's still sort of yeah. connected within the game. So this is advice from someone who is broke as fuck. <laughs> um, if I was a young footballer making money, I'd, especially in the social media age, I'd look at, hey, let me put a bit aside to put towards that because I know that's going to boom or, you know, maybe start my own little business on the side. So when I do finish football, at least I have something that I can go to because really, I don't know about clubs you've played at and stuff. Do they, do they help you with a plan after football? The club, I mean, not, not necessarily the club, but the club during while you're playing is... My experience, you're doing meetings about talking about real estate, talking about oh, nice. financial advice, definitely. Yeah. So at victory, and warning of you, the oh, you're warning players of these kinds of things because yeah. I'm pretty sure there was a stat that I heard while I was at Victory. It was like 80% of uh, professional, I think it was rugby players, 80% mm. of professional rugby players go bankrupt after their first, after the first year after their last contract, something like that. Yeah, because yeah. They, they abruptly stop, but they're still spending. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, so exactly. that's that's the problem, and that's why I don't blame people for going somewhere for the money. Like Jordan Henderson, brother, you don't have to lie. You went to Saudi for the money. De Bruyne said it. I'm going to Saudi because I can make what I earn here in two years at City or whatever the the, the stat was. So, especially in your older years, yeah, get the money because they don't care about you. And I mean this in the nicest way. They don't care about you. You're just an asset to them at the end of yeah. the day. Football is definitely the most cutthroat business, of course. There is. <clears throat> in terms of contracts. How they treat you at the end of the day when it's top level, you're you're a product. You're well, how's this right? Like, let's go to Popper. Yeah. Um, apparently, in footy, they they give coaches more time to do well. And there's like some famous story we're doing doing oh, a shit, coaches yeah. seminar the other day with Richmond. I can't remember which coach it was, but they gave him like six years of him doing really poorly. Yeah. And then then he won it. Yeah. After the six years. Apparently, he did really poorly in the first three years or four years or something. And they sent him to Harvard to do some leadership training, some course over there, finished it, came back, implemented the stuff, then won the league with it. You can blame Chelsea for that. I'm not even joking. For what? For this whole quick coach turnover oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Abramovich, Abramovich, huh? Abramovich was... I'm sure it was happening before, but Abramovich was the big first high-profile case where it was like, you're not doing good now, you're gone. And mm. that's been a that's been a thing at Chelsea for ages, and it's filtered down into other clubs, and yeah. and they all do it. But some some do keep, you know, they gave Jurgen Klopp a very long time, man. Um, mm. So some do, some don't. Ten Hag just announced that he's staying. So I guess United are really trying to stick by their guns with that one. Um, <clears throat> but look, I think uh, 
I think unless you you've made big, big, like I'm talking like 50, 60, 70 million in your football career, then a lot of footballers can go broke after it. Uh, yeah, I think starting off, starting off, learn to live by yourself. Learn to live on your own money. When you're able to do that, then start looking a bit further. The other, a bit oh, the, the other thing is like getting out of the... I still have residual habitual things that come from being around football. Like institutionalized almost. Yeah, like you, you've seen me do this, right? Like you'll go to um, get something from the shops and then I'll just pay for all of it for everyone. Yeah, you do that. And I don't, it, it's a footballer thing. It's like this thing where it becomes normal because you're around, again, you're, you're around these players that have heaps of money. Yeah. And they just do that. Yeah. So then, and you think, oh, that's so cool. I yeah. want to do I that. I want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Keep doing it's it. It's so nice. <laughs> yeah. But like, but then you don't have that money and yeah. you're like doing these behaviors. Yeah. Again, yeah. going back to like getting out of your head, the behaviors of footballers, professional footballers, that the way they spend when they mm. go out, the way they spend, you know, like I the way having, they behave yeah. is or the clothes they buy. Yeah. It's not the way a normal person. I was behaves. having a conversation with a mate that went shopping with a famous footballer. And he said he didn't even look at the tag. No, he they would don't. just yeah. pick it off and just chuck it in. They don't, bro. Tap it. Done. Yeah, they yeah. don't. And yeah. I think unless you ha- unless you are so stuck within your own ways that none of that shit phases you. Perfect example is it Golo Kante, where all you see him in really is a tracksuit. He drives a mini. Like just yeah. he's he's he, run to training. Yeah, like he's he's biked to training and all. Some players they you, you cannot change them. But majority of them will get sucked into the ways. It's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. You, you're a young guy who's never seen that much money before. And then, bam, you can go do whatever you want. Of course you're going to do it. But it's just about doing it within your means. Like, if you earn 100 grand a week, of course you can go buy some designer. But you're not going to mm. go buy 15 cars, are you? Well, actually, I was, I um, when I was in England, I was um, staying with Gavin McCann. 300 caps. Yeah. Yeah. 300 games in the Prem. And I went over to his place. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And he said, Gav, you know how I did this? He goes, I was never a top-tier player. I just played in the league for so many years. I'm not a well-known footballer. I can walk around the streets in England and I won't get recognised. But I was on, he said, I was on 30,000. Pounds. Yeah, 30,000 pounds. And I lived off 3,000 a week. Yeah. If you're strict enough to be able to do that. And he goes, that's how I have all this now. If you're strict right. enough to be able to stick to that and be like, oh, because if you, anyone, bro, anyone can live super comfortably off 3,000 pounds a week. That's like 6,000 Aussie a week. Yeah. That's, you know, but like we were saying, yeah, Prem, you get sucked in, you see other people that are living off 50,000 a week or whatever yeah. stupid money. Mm. But again, no big time bowlers yet listen to this. But if you are making, you know, high hundreds, low thousands in MPL and stuff, just, just think about where it could go because... We were speaking to Chris the other day and he's like, you know, there was a point where it's like, God, I think my MPL career might be might be done here. Mm. I think I might have to take a pay cut here. Yeah, yeah. So there will come a stage Ooh. and it'll creep up on you. Ooh, and if you're if you are working and playing NPL and getting an MPL money, yeah. brother. Yeah. You're like yeah. once that MPL's done, yeah. you are not getting that money anymore. Yeah. If you're just doing your regular job, that's a yeah. lot of uh disposable income that's it's just rolling. That's why. Every week. That's why. I, well, I said you're laughing because while it's happening, no one else is getting two revenues like that unless they're a genius. So make the most of it. You know, try to maximize it. I've got no idea about money. <laughs> All right, let's get into um, let's get into some of these questions. Can you give us a a, a TikTok motivational speech? We're the bad guys. Oh, no. I thought you... I, I reckon you could go into a character and, and do one of those motivational speeches oh, that are really popular Be a online. hitman. You know who my... What, <laughs> you're dressed like one. You know who my favourite <laughs> motivational speaker is? And I don't listen to anything he says. And by favourite, I mean I laugh at everything he says. <laughs> He's a bald guy with a really tight uh, V-neck Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the tight pants. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sales. Yeah, and he yeah, talks yeah, sales yeah. and he goes, yeah. you fucking walk into a car dealership. 
you gonna sh- what are you gonna do? You're gonna shake their hand and say, Yeah, I'll get my boss for you? No, you're gonna say, Hello, what's your name? Yeah, nice to meet you. Wow, you look wonderful today, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best for you on that. No, I'm not gonna you're not gonna do your fucking best. You're gonna say I'm gonna get you the deal that you want. Brother. <laughs> like And I'm sick. What about the one where he says, If you work for me and you don't have abs, no way. Get the fuck out. Yeah. Like, let me tell you something. This whole motivational get up at 4 a.m., only eat, you know, nine steaks, three avocados and 20 eggs and, and barely sleep. And that's not healthy, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Give us the routine. Like, the cuz at the end is the best part. Like, that's not healthy, healthy cuz. Unless you're an absolute robot. You can't function off like five hours of sleep. Like you should be getting nine hours. <laughs> nine hours. <laughs> well, that's the statistical eight to nine. And you don't need to pressure yourself every day. That's no way to enjoy life for me anyway. I'm all for working hard, obviously. <laughs> but it's like you don't need to run a marathon, shit yourself like David Goggins every day. And <laughs> like I love Goggins. But okay, he like. looks unwell though. Yeah, huh? but that's I what love I'm saying. He looks so unwell. You're yeah, here. To be fair, there's a bit. There's too many runners going around. Let's be honest. <laughs> like, too many marathon. You're fan, here, fan players on Earth. Okay, yeah, you, you know you're hardworking. You're a marine, whatever. Cool. But it's like stop screaming at other people. Like we don't all have to get up at four o'clock. <laughs> like you actually don't have to. Coggin threatened you. He's in your head, man. He's God, not. He's in not in your my head. head. Like, just you, can you picture? Can you picture him? Accidentally scrolling onto a Goggins video and him just ripping it apart. The, yeah. the, the speech in his head, like, I don't need to wake up at 4 a.m. Yeah, like, I, like, I get it. I get it. Yeah. It's all for promotional social media, blah, blah, blah. Get people revved up, all of that. You're not going to have someone in sales because they don't have abs. I know so many dumb cunts with abs. <laughs> That's a good point. Like that's a weirdly and, good and I know so many geniuses with a beer gut. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. what you're gonna have someone with abs who's a you know not all there, or you're gonna have someone who's a bit pudgy but they're a genius. Like mm. all that shit, it's all just it's all just to get people like me riled up. It's working, well done, <laughs> it's working. But I think this whole this whole ultra like ultra, you, you know, you can't do this and you can't do that and you've got to be strict. There's no way to live life, man. Like there's got to be a little bit of enjoyment. <laughs> like just a little bit. Maybe I enjoy too much, but like there's got to be a little bit. That's why everyone's favourite players are Ronaldinho, Maradona and all that because it's it's more, I don't know, it's a little bit more relatable. Yeah, I just, always say that. I always say that. You don't watch Messi or Ronaldo because how high they jump. You watch them because of the skill the way they score goals. This is what gets me worked up about a lot, you know? Well, I don't get your point. Well, is that a lot of people are all so focused on being fast and who can jump the highest, you know? I Whereas think Ronaldo's like that. I think technique. Messi's not. <clears throat> no, nah, but Ronaldo, come on. You can't tell me he's not graceful on the ball. No, of course he is. But like, he's one of those guys that lives that lifestyle where it's like, no soft drink, no this. And fair enough. Look, I'm not talking about that. I'm more talking about... All right, let's get off it. Come on. You know what get I'm saying, man? Uh, yeah. Do you? I feel like you're on the other side of the coin. <laughs> Fucking hell. Can't. He's a lefty. No, that's... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I gotta... I've, tried to, I've tried to tell people about how funny that is so many times. And they don't get it? But they're not football people. So then I say... Yeah. Oh. And then he said... No. Uh, no, I told... They're footers and they're like... I told the boys last night, everyone was dying. <laughs> yeah, they got yeah, it. Has, they have to be footballers, I guess. Um, we got it. Uh, we're going to do Welcome to Amateur Agents, where me, Rashid, and Gavin give you amateur football advice. I got a DM, though, that's not anonymous from a, a, a friend of mine, I would say. Um, and I guess this is more, well, both of you can answer on this, and this is a really good one. He said, uh, I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think of kids playing within their age group versus playing a year or more in an older age group? Um, he says, are you for this or against this? Uh, I'm a firm believer you should stay in your age group until a certain age, then you can move up. Um, what? Yeah, he said, love the pod, all that. Thank you, Johnny. Um, what do you guys think in terms of players playing in their own age group, playing up? You can't really play down. 
<laughs> um, you know, senior level. I know some boys of that have, but anyway. So I believe, I may get this stat wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's 80% computer learning, right? The, the perfect rate for a computer to learn something is 80% success rate. Higher, it's not making enough mistakes for it to learn. Okay. Too low, it's too much randomness, too many variables. So 80%. So if the player is dominating, and let's, I mean, you, I'm trying to put a numerical yeah. number on it, but if yeah, you can okay. imagine like they're every game, they're, they're winning, they're winning nine out of 10 yeah. games, too successful. Okay. I think from my own experience. If, if they're, lo- sorry, if they're losing uh, three yeah. out of two games, then yeah. slightly too many. So we're so, looking at eight out of ten games winning. So you're so let me transfer that into what he's saying then. So yeah. that, let me understand. Yeah. So if there is a player who is a ten year old yeah. and he's playing under tens or under elevens, whatever it is, with the league he should be at, and he's scoring five goals a game, you yep. think that it prob the mathematics say that he should probably try and move into under twelves. Yeah, that sounds I would yeah. Yep, or move up level, like to a higher league. Yep, yeah. Where you're okay, maybe you're scoring one so, every two games. Yeah. For okay. me, for me, my the best thing that helped me was playing my age group and then playing up and getting that challenge. And then once I moved over to Argentina, obviously we had more mm-hmm. training with the right competition that was just on that edge for being yep. tough enough for me. And then the games, the standard was so good that it was always one nil. Nil nil two one, yep. and it was in that bracket. Obviously, that is hard to get here because the competition is much lower. Yeah. So pushing up those levels, or just for me, minutes on the ball. Well, he he also said that um he knows in some countries, no matter how good they are, up until around fourteen to sixteen, they stay in their groups, and then from there, you know, you could have under fifteens and eighteens or whatever. But then he said in other countries, um they play up if they're good enough from nine. Uh, so I yeah, guess I think I think if you're good enough, play up. Yeah. That, why? Or seek well, elsewhere. What is the seek, logic between yes. wait, why do you have to wait till you're 14? To seek competition elsewhere. Yeah. I remember when we were over there, we would train and then on the side our coach would recommend us go play in the in the towns or play futsal and you could you could organize the games there, yeah? You could organize games with mates. I think what Rash was saying was true though though. You don't want to go too high. Yeah. Like if you're a 9-year-old, don't, old, don't go failure. under foot 15s. Or yeah, you, know, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, you don't want too much failure. Yeah. But you know what's interesting about this is Tiger Woods' dad, apparently they said to him to play, because Tiger Woods was just wiping out all his age group. They, they said, play him up an age group. And he said, no, I don't, I don't want him to get used to losing at all. He needs well, that's to win another, that's everything. another thing. But I don't think that's correct. I don't know. I don't if, think that's correct. But everyone's got and, their uh, weird but, theories. And I, feel, I think also golf is a different game but than football. I definitely want my kid because to lose. And I feel like the, individual, right? Yeah, like, I feel yeah, like yeah. through the ages, the game also changes. Yeah. You know, you've yeah. got the under fives, under sixes, under sevens. It's more running into each other, crash and bash. Yeah, you move up the ages. There's a bit Different more pitch sizes in. too. Yeah, that's so it's the development stages. Yeah, no, hundred percent. If so you're much. if you're just scoring five goals every week, play up. Yep, yep, for sure. All right, let's get into the anonymous ones. Um, oh, this is a good one. I always felt like I could have been the world's best centre back, but I never gave it a crack. Yep, I'm now 34. Is it too late? Don't laugh. <laughs> no, I'm laughing. How old are you? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Wait, Rash wrote it. <laughs> no, no, I'm laughing because unless he's jo- unless they're joking. Do you think they're, that's a joke? I think. Is he asking to play pro? I think world's best centre back is a shout. Is a, is is a bit far fetched. Is that the jo- no? That's what I mean. Yeah, it that could be line. the joke. But like, maybe okay. he's just saying good is obviously subjective. But let's just. I'm going to put this out there. Let's just say he wants to play at a high state league level. No, hundred percent, go do it. I reckon yeah, go 100% do it. Hundred percent, go do it. Yeah, yeah, that's about, no. And just do your just, do your rehab and do your health insurance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. But oh, yeah, just to be clear, I'm not laughing about saying I oh, shouldn't start later. I was laughing because he's saying world's best. I was going to be the world best centre back, but I never gave it a crack. And it, just to be honest, it reminded me of this thing I saw Nick Kyrgios asking this. I think it was a sports psych, saying, "What do you say about uh, players?" that are really, really talented, but they don't put in the effort. And the sports psych said something so interesting. He said, you know why? And I think this is, applies to you, talking to Nick Kyrgios. He goes, everyone always said to you, I 
gave you the identity of being talented. Everyone always said to you, you're talented, you're talented. So you started identifying as a talented person. And I don't think, or most kids are not willing, uh, willing to risk giving up the title of talented to be a champion because being talented is one thing, but being a champion means now you're gonna have to go against the best and the best and you're gonna have to try put in absolutely everything and you might fail and you actually might fail and then you're scared to lose the title of being talented yeah, so sure. it's so easy so that's why it's always easy for people to say oh i'm talented i just didn't try oh i'm talented i'm not putting in my best yeah, so you're a bitch <laughs> <laughs> nah but seriously it's a good point <laughs> yeah yeah is this a personal... Uh, <laughs> the process would be this, Nor. <laughs> Maybe put a, a gun re, to Olu's head. Re, re, put a gun to Olu's head. Oh. Can someone that is 26 to, say, 34 or whatever, uh, they, if they're currently not playing football, can they get to somewhere like a state two level or whatever? The joke answer is, let's hold Olu hostage and we'll get you a spot. The real answer is 100% because I've definitely seen 40-year-olds playing at high state levels. Yep. Um, I reckon we should do a series of Jerome making MPL. <laughs> Be here for a while, boys. Far state around. one. State no. one. Nah. Right. Yeah. The state highest one. I could play if I was fit right now would be state two resis or state three. Man, I can picture this. I can picture you with a sweatband on your head, mm, rocky like, music. Like em- that's Memphis if I was really pain. fit. Run it, running up the thousand steps. Nah, um, you know what? With yeah, David with Goggins. his crutches, screaming. <laughs> yeah, David Goggins. We said this. I hate hard work. Anyway, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm a big proponent for, Just you know, the impossible it, is nothing. Yeah, man. Ah, uh, not too it. old. Yeah. You're Just not go too old. try, man. Go try. You're not too go old. Try. Trust me. Yeah. Uh, just yeah, uh, at that age, you're probably gonna have to look after you. You're not gonna be able to play five nights a week. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe you can, but you just got to look after yourself really well. Well, Ronaldo's thirty nine. Yeah, but he's a, he's he's the exception to the rule. He's weird. Fat goalkeeper here. I've got a better touch and passing game than all my teammates, but I have the lungs of a seven-year-old chain smoker at the local pub. Any tips for working on the cardio? Well, maybe stop smoking. That might help. But if you don't want to, that's fine because uh, pros smoke. Uh, cardio, it's not my department. Yeah. <laughs> Um, sorry, can you please repeat the question? Fat goalkeeper here. I've got a better touch. I've got a better touch and passing than all my teammates, but I have the yep. lungs of a seven-year-old chain smoker at the local pub. Any yep. tips for working on the cardio? I don't know Humble. if he's saying if he wants to go outfield. Yeah, he does. Yeah, okay. Humble one percent progress. Okay. Yeah. So Humble just one percent progress. One consistent, push up a day. consistent, consistent. So you're saying week by week that yeah. would be like okay, this week I can run two k's. Next yeah. week I can run two and a half. Not even k's, just five hundred meters. I yeah, I put I put a one of my close a person that's close to me through this training regime through COVID manifest, and it was so boring at the start because it was so slow, so slow. Such okay, today we're just foam rolling. You're not even going to walk. You're just foam rolling. Okay, tomorrow you're foam rolling, then you're walking. Bored? Okay, foam rolling. Run one minute or one run 30 seconds. 1%, 1%, 1%. And the, the change over a, you know, mm, the cumulative yeah. change over a 10-week period was insane. Because you will hurt yourself if you go. That's the other hard. thing, yeah. I mean, that's the killer. That's the real killer is if you're starting to make a bit of progress and then you push too hard... Because you're not trying to humbly progress, yeah, and then you get injured. Sounds like my that's career. gone. You're gone. The, the motivation, the, the the habits out the window. Yeah. So, 1% all progress. right, let's push through them. Yep. Uh, what are you meant to do if everyone in your team really loves football but is really shit, including yourself? <laughs> awesome question, dude. I love questions like this. Um, what are you meant to do if everyone in your team really loves football but is really shit, including yourself? There's one answer to this, bro. You're playing in the wrong league, then. Like, if you guys all love football, but you guys are crap, unless you're playing literally Metro 9, which is probably the lowest you can go, then just move leagues. Like, get put into another league. 
Churches. Um, or churches or just play at a standard that you guys can actually not win every game, but win some so you don't feel like the worst people in the world. Like 80%. Maybe there you can go underage and play lower. <laughs> Maybe. Go play under 12. <laughs> 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 yeah, don't do underage at churches. Um, um, but yeah, like there's so many leagues. There's like there's the Chinese league, there's the Bayside league, there's the low metro leagues where people can't even run. So that would be um my thing. Next, another one. What are you meant to do if you love football? Maybe this is the same guy. What are you meant to do if you love football, but your team gives you the side eye of you being shit? Another, the exact same thing I'll say, man. Fuck your teammates. Fuck your teammates, honestly. If you think, if you think that you can train and get better to their, their level, then go for it. But if you genuinely don't enjoy it, like being around people that give you the side eye all the time, Maybe, again, this guy doesn't sound like you're trying to go pro. Maybe go down to a level where you don't feel as if you're being criticised or looked at weirdly 24-7 and play to enjoy. <laughs> I just had this thought or this moment, you know, when you're just playing in a game or you're playing cage and then someone gets the ball and they're just having a shocker of a training and they're like, oh, I get it, man. This might be one of the fives, guys. <laughs> talking know? about me giving them the side eye. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I do yell at people at fives. <laughs> do you? Last night. For making mistakes. Yeah, but it's it's my personality, so it's like a joke, but then like yeah. like last night a guy let in a really easy goal. I'm like, you're not fucking playing for the badge. Obviously, Were you being serious? No, what we're not wearing oh. a badge. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> but like he sort of took it a bit <laughs> Yeah, I never <laughs> know with you, bro. He sort of took it a bit serious and then I yeah, was like, yeah. uh like just don't yeah, let yeah, it in yeah, next yeah. time. Yeah, I won't say one uh, the player's name, but there was a player that I played with. It's actually so funny. Um, sometimes he would have these random outbursts if you made a mistake, where he'd just be like, so for example, I give the ball away, he'd go, "Fuck you, Rash." Yeah, <laughs> that's what he would do. No information, no nothing. Again, I know who that is. I say that every week. Fuck you, Rash. Yeah, no like help. <laughs> No, like next time. Yeah. Just Nothing, so no, abusive. No switch on. No, so abusive. No, what about the freaking Argent in Argentina, bro? Yeah. Oh my god! If you gave the ball away, the I won't even. I can't even say it. Yeah, you can't. Say unbelievable. It. The yeah. The, why are the you, barrage of. Why are you swear so words? calm? I just wouldn't give it away. Because he's got a turtle. Well, he obviously on. did. How <laughs> can obviously you be? Did give it away? How can you be stressed in a turtle neck? Because <laughs> it's restricting your veins. Anyway. <laughs> Next one. <clears throat> I've just joined a new club this season. I'm a striker and have been training very well starting most games. But no matter what I do, I cannot score on game day. I end up getting dragged every single week. What can I do? Um, you got to score. <laughs> you know what? People are probably thinking, why the fuck is Jerome giving advice? <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. 100%. No, you, you've you got a good nuanced brain, man. So give, give Strikers go through patches, man. I don't know any striker... That has spent every single week bagging goals. Sometimes you just got to ride out the bad waves. And once you get one, which I would suggest that you jump on pens, because one tap in or a pen or whatever can get your confidence sky high. And that's when you start rolling again. Yeah. But if you're a good player and you've been training well, it's in you to score. It'll come. Get you're the just, reps in. You're, you're just not, you're, ju you're just unlucky, I guess. But if you're in the right positions, if you're doing the right things, if you're training well, and you know you can score, it'll come. But sometimes as a striker, you're going to have weeks, maybe even months on end, where it's just not working for you. And then out of nowhere, when you least expect it, you'll get a toe poke or a flick on or whatever, and your confidence comes back. Yeah, I feel like even in training as a striker, if you're banging in goals, that builds up your confidence a lot. Um, those little cage shames, just making sure you put it away. He said, what can I do? And don't overthink it. Just play your game. Like, yeah. just get in the right positions, do the right things, and it'll come. There's no magical recipe. What do you reckon, Mr. I, a League? I would just, I'd say um, that just in general, like the mental side of sport, like no two things are connected, right? So it's not, you know, when we say, oh, people are in good form yeah. or they're having a good game. Well, no, it's an accumulation of 
good individual separate behaviors, right? They're not connected. So something that I used to think, especially when I was younger, was my first pass would be bad or I'd take a bad touch and I'd think, I'm having a bad game. As if the whole game now is bad because of one moment. Yeah. Or I'm having a bad period now. As if the three weeks is connected. Well, no. The next moment is an individual separate moment that has nothing to do with the, what, the previous one. Yeah, and I think another thing... But it's just strikers though. It's yeah. different because... I know, but, I, that, but it's the same. It's confidence. Yeah. yeah. Strike, like a left back it's might confidence. be... confidence. Yeah. You, you played... Yeah, it's confidence. It's the mental and game yeah. of Another sport. thing is... Or I anything. Think, the mental game of anything. Yeah, when you are playing as a player, as an individual, you overthink so many of your actions. And I even do this myself. I'll make one pass and I'll remember it. And then I'll go tell my old man who goes, oh, don't even remember that pass. <laughs> you know? Mm. But like you think, you'll think about that pass where in reality it was just another, another mistake that doesn't really matter that much. Whereas a striker, I'm guessing you could go one-on-one -on -one first 10 minutes, yep. miss an open chance that's, and that will ruin your game. That's it. Where realistically, you've just got to... Get over that yeah, next yeah. one, next one, next one. Can you know? I, okay, can I, I'll ask you like this, right? Let's say, let's say you wake up in the morning today and uh, you put your raisin toast in your toaster and you accidentally leave it a little bit too long, okay. right? You stuffed up, you burnt your toast. You're yeah? talking to me now. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? Stuffed up, you burnt your toast. Tomorrow, are you thinking that the action of putting the next toast in the, is connected to the last one and thinking, oh, I'm going to burn my toast again today because I did it yesterday? I'm mentally not all there. <laughs> he's, he's, so, he's actually thinking. So This is going to burn again. I, I'm going to flip that on you. <laughs> if I do that, I've set the tone for my day now. So now every single little bad thing that happens, it all started with that toast. It's huh? exactly the same. Yeah, this is, yeah, yeah it's connected everyone to does pitch, this. It's yeah. not just sport people. Everyone goes, I'm having a bad day. There's no such thing. Yeah. Really? The, no two moments are connected. You had a bad moment now so if and then something else happened. Okay. And then now you start using the language of saying, I'm having a bad day. So now you have, you have combined the whole, using the, I'm having a bad day. The word day now encapsulates a whole day. Encapsulates everything together, but it's not. Yes. It's like if you had something bad happen to you at 10 PM and then the next morning, another bad thing, thing happened at 9 AM. You go, oh, it's the day where realistically it's a different day. That makes sense? <laughs> yeah, sort of. <laughs> that made sense in my head. Does it make sense? It no, does. You were meant to say if something happens at 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. Do you mean 10 a.m. and 10 p.m.? No, I said 10 p.m. and 9 a.m. I know, a. yeah. I think, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a different yeah. day. Yeah, well, don't listen to these cunts. Oh. I have shit days all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, obviously yeah. what he's saying is correct, but yeah. um, I'm a, I am do that all the time. I, I know can, you do. We've spoken them. about it, bro. Yeah. You sorry. go, what do you do? What do I do when I'm having a bad day? I said, sorry. You're not having a bad day. Okay. <laughs> the lo life's just happening, bro. Sorry. True that. Now we're getting, we're, now we're getting. All right. Now we're about to get Ooh, real deep. Sorry, bro. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now we're going to. Just gonna... wake up earlier. Yeah, that's true. I just got to just shit myself on marathons. <laughs> no. Now, all right, guys, this is a really serious one. No, seriously, stop laughing. My team's. Sorry, let me start again. My team captain's older sister is really hot. She keeps flirting with me in front of the whole team as well. How do I get her without pissing off my captain? She's hot as bro. All right. Brother, this is John Terry. Ryan Giggs. I'm going to be real with you, bro. It all depends on your relationship with the team captain, whether he's one of your bros or whether he's someone that's an acquaintance or whether it's someone that hates you. I know some people out there that, that would say, you know what? I'd want my sister to date them because they're a good guy. But then I also know, know some brothers out there that would say, the last person I would want my sister around is that bastard. So it really depends on how you are with... But if you're too close to him, then it's like, no, cuz we're like brothers. Why would you date my sister? So if you're in that sort of medium between <laughs> what club is it too? and... Depends I, the club. Well, I don't think it depends on the club, but she's hot as bro threw me a bit. <laughs> like, um, yeah, I've got no comment on this. I'll give a comment. Just say as a joke to your, no, say this to your captain. Hey, cuz, how, would you feel weird if I asked your sister out? <laughs> and then if he says, oh, not really, then say, oh, I'm mad. And if he says, what the fuck? No, I'm joking, bro. She's fucking ugly. <laughs> so that's the reason. 
That's the reason. <laughs> so that's how he rizzes her up and gets away with it. Look, long story short, he can't be too close to you or he can't be too far away. He's, there's got to be that, that, that mid-range where it's like, yeah, yeah. he's a nice guy. Like, he's got to yeah, give her a good rizza. Yeah. No. Just on, just on rizz. Did you guys see that Where did TikTok? this word come from, by the yeah, way, yeah, Riz? Right. I don't even know. 12-year-olds. Did, did, you, did you guys see that TikTok video of the guy going, he's talking to the girl. The girl's like, oh, I love you so much, whatever. And then he goes, person that wants to break up says what? She goes, what? He goes, well, if that's what you really want. <laughs> A girl told me the other day I have no Riz. I don't get, I don't, I don't get it. Now you got me thinking. What would he say? Now, now you've I've, got me thinking. That just reminds me of someone says like, uh, "If um, you're gay, if you move, you know, if you oh, move, you're a video. Yeah, yeah, or something that like, guy. Yeah, if you're a Chelsea fan you, <laughs> and you move, you're gay or whatever. Like, okay, bro, isn't the internet crazy? Yeah, Sorry, yeah. Um, so yeah, bro, I would say oh, um, go after Ames one. Yeah, I'd say if there's got to be the happy medium of like. You better be a good bloke or else your captain's going to be like, no way. I don't <coughs> want you in my team. That's all I have to say. Oh, Rush. Okay. Okay. I'm playing under 18s at a community club. I'm 15. Should I go to an NPL club next year or play seniors in State 4? Oh, listen. State 4 is not for the week. As a State 4 ambassador. <laughs> you should only play State 4 as a 15-year-old if you don't want to make it pro. Because you will get your legs broken. If they see a 15-year-old whizzing past them, they're not going to be happy, I'll tell you that much. Um, but I don't get it because um, 15... I'd probably these big leaps we always get. Four. Yeah, I'd probably just go to an NPL club if you're good enough and just sort of use that pathway rather than State Force. State Force is tough. Yeah, we talk about, I've talked before about <coughs> dropping leagues a little bit. Yeah, but that's but a that's weird. 15 crazy, to State Force? bro. Oh. So obviously he's playing under 18s at a state four team. No, he's playing he, eight, under 18s at a community club, and I'm 15. Oh yeah, I guess yeah. so. I guess so. So he's playing 18s for the state <coughs> four team. Potentially can go to the seniors, seniors or go MPL. You know. So I'm guessing if I'd you're playing MPL. community level under 18s, then you're probably at your age group at an MPL level. He's playing under. He's playing under 18s. He's 15. Oh, so yeah, you're next right, Gavin. Yeah, go to under 16s, right, play Gavin. MPL Maybe. league. Yep. You're right, Gavin. Yes. Sorry. And if you're good enough yeah. there, then okay, try and build through the levels there. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't go to senior state four. No. Trust me. Yeah. Not Trust as a 16 year old. My state three reserves team is in shambles. The board wanted to play themselves, thinking they've still got it. A few injuries along the way. Now they're stuck without players. Is that karma or was it fair for them to play themselves? Players that left out weren't bad. So, basically... Sorry, I zoned out. I zoned out a little bit. And I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Don't zone out. Yeah, sorry. So I zoned out for? because there was a mosquito on Gavin's bald head. <laughs> <laughs> was there? And then also the way you and were reading it was sounded like it's that guy that comments on all our stuff without full stops. Is Oh, <laughs> Gavin's mate. Is that your mate? Yeah, they're him. good mates. All oh, right, okay. Cut this out. Yeah, we sorry, don't need him coming. <laughs> yeah, sorry. What is that? What's that? Anyway, anyway, listen. My state three team. <laughs> Can we stop calling people out? We didn't call anyone out. My state three resis team is in shambles. The board wanted to play themselves, thinking they've still got it. A few injuries along the way. Now they're stuck without players. Is that karma, or was it fair for them to play themselves? He's basically saying that the <laughs> bosses of the club said, you boys are shit. I'm going to put the boots back on. And now they suck and now they got injuries. Hey, how funny. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going off on another segue, but I okay. played with a guy, top level player, who played in China. And the president of the club was some billionaire and at one point subbed himself onto the ground. What? Yeah. What club is... Can you please say I the club? Say who Why not? All right, well, I'll around. just Google it. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Chinese billionaire yeah. subs himself on. That'll <laughs> come up somewhere. <laughs> Next question. No, we've got to answer it, Gav. I don't... But what do we... What does he want us to say? to say? He if says, it's karma or not. He says, I don't know. Is, they is should it, have had more depth. No, is it karma or was it fair for them to play themselves? Well, probably, probably fair. They've got the if money. They're not doing well, and they're decent players. Yeah, they can't but get then relegated. They decent players. 
I don't know, Depends bro. Hold on, hold on, sorry. Stop. Stop. If they are considered a player coach, which they don't sound like they are, then that's different. Yeah. But board members, like the treasurer, just saying, ah, you guys are shit. I'm going to put the boots on. Just squeeze off, yeah, chucking on the boots for victory. You probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, okay. No, it's probably right. not protocol. Yeah, it's probably not protocol. Uh, a few more. Um, we've gone over the time limit, but whatever. I've always felt like I could have been... Oh, that was uh, the world's best centre-back. Oh, this one is the big topic of the day, and I've just... It's, it's come last. Mm. Now, Gavin, due to recent events, let's keep this PG. Yeah. Yeah, we can all agree. <laughs> this is the end of the pod. <laughs> Do no. you mean the whole pod or... No, I'm just saying for this question. <laughs> because of... We could have discussed that as well. That yeah, was a good okay. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My teammates... Don't let me shower with the door closed. Should I be worried? <laughs> they find me. I'll give my take on it. My take has always been this. If you don't want to get your parts out in a change room, you shouldn't have to. Now, I know I'm going to cop a lot of flack for that because it's a man's game and everyone should get their, you know, their Johnson out. But I think that... If you don't want to be... It's just a shower with the door closed. Like, there's no one... There's no harm in that. If you're self-conscious about certain parts, due to size or whatever, I feel for you. <laughs> right? Just, just. But you could have the biggest Johnson ever, but just still not want everyone to stare at you or look at you. Not saying they're staring, but, you know, have it out in the open. So I don't think players should get fined for it. I just think it's a, a weird football macho man thing that it's like, oh, you got to get your Johnson out. I was going to say, Why is imagine Johnson? this, imagine because I'm this trying happened, to keep it PG. Oh. Imagine this happened in an office building. Yeah. They went like, nah, everyone has to shower here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and you have to keep the door open. No pants Friday. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> that would bring the community together. Okay. We were doing okay. <laughs> so what's your take on it? Be honest. That's the, reason right. it's, that's the reason of why it happens in football. Hold on. just oh, I, want I, your, honest, I, I want your honest take. Like, do you think players should get fined for it? Um, no, I don't think they should get fined for it. But I also uh, think, like, it's, I don't think it's a big deal also. But that's just my... That's just. I don't think it needs to be a big deal. Are you saying that if the, if the club, if the majority of the team votes on something, that... That that sorry, that's just the way it is in our team. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have that as a rule if I okay. was in a leadership group. <laughs> okay, definitely not. Yeah, but also from the players' side, I just don't see. It's just your body, also. It like, is, but then I, like, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna word this very carefully, right? But if you're a younger lad who's playing seniors or whatever in front of the bigger boy, isn't that a bit? I mean, it, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I can, I can that's see a, it, that's but like, like, uh, I, like... But it's also like... I know it's just the Johnson. Naked, I know. I know it's natural. It's just the Johnson. But... Like, that's almost therapy. Like, <laughs> you're born naked, bro. Like, just... All right, this is my question. The so, so is, the is, the question um, is the question, is he showering with the door closed or with his undies off? No, no, no. He didn't mention undies. He just oh. said he showers with the door closed oh. and he gets fined. I know what you're going to say. I just feel like it's just part of the culture. And I okay. think it's actually worse in, in footy. I've heard it's worse in footy. I've had mates that play um, just in the VPL and they have change room with doors on and they get them removed. They get it removed from the change room because they want all the boys in there together. Oh, light yeah. bulb. Now I just realised how many chain rooms have no doors on them. Yeah. How many... Do you think that's why? <laughs> yeah. How many showers are like four and four? Well, I think it's almost like, you know what? We're brothers. We're all in our purest form. Well, to be fair, post-game, you're in the shower. You're talking about the game. Yeah. If you've won, you're talking about the result. What are you doing afterwards? Instead of having the doors closed, you're not really having conversation. There's a difference because I think people are just self-conscious. That's what it has to be. Yeah. Like, or they just don't want people looking. But I think the boys that have been doing it for ages, they're literally paying no attention to anyone's yeah. Johnson. I don't think they just got it yeah. out and they're like, I, oh bro, did you see the corner I'm like screwed up? Like 
They don't really yeah. care. I don't think you're like, oh, he hasn't taken them off in a while. Yeah. I'm going to have a geese. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> no, you, I think it, you there know is what I mean? something about, there is something about like, yeah, the brotherhood, the, oh, okay, we're all just, we're all brothers We're just li- living. Yeah. We're just living. <laughs> we know each other. Yeah. We, you know. Yeah. yeah. I feel like things that happen in the change room don't leave the change room. Don't ever fucking find me for, get, for not getting my Johnson out. You know what I mean? Wait, but what are you talking about now? Like, if you were insecure about the size of your Johnson, you know... I don't know, think it's about the size. Look, yeah, let's I don't get think off it that. is. Okay, but it could be. It could be. That's one of the potential things. So that's your thoughts process. You wouldn't get your Johnson because of the size. Hey, this, we got to cut no, it. because yeah, I, point, we... this could be the thought process. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually probably a fair... I'm not even joking issue. here. Yeah. It's, it's, a all an, it's a natural thing. But then yeah. again, another thing could be, I just don't want to be butt naked in front of it. People, mm. people could just be like that. You could have, you could not have size issues. Like, let's be honest, Rash. There is a bit of piss take every now and then in the change rooms mm. about when the, you know, if he hasn't, you know, turned on the lawnmower or whatever. Oh, so that's a thing. Yeah. Oh, so everyone's admiring every, everyone's <laughs> garden work. Well, isn't there? I mean, there's or festivals how, actually. Now that I think about, it, there's festivals that people are like, oh, I'm gonna naked, be an yeah. animal naked. Yeah. We're all going to connect Nude with the beaches. earth and connect with the, yeah, yeah oh, primal. Pri- I'm primal. But there, this, there, I, I do see something about it as being like you're connecting on another level mm. when you're just like primal. I think that um, the way he worded it, I feel bad. He said, yeah. should I be worried? You don't need to be worried, cuz. Depends how much you're getting fined. If it was me and they were giving me a bit of a sting, man, I'm opening the door. Oh, we know you. Yeah, but actually, to be fair, so it was man, a two dollar fine. He'd have his pants off. It's a difficult position to yeah. be in as a young player. That's a very if you feel uncomfortable. That's a very. Difficult I'm assuming they're young to be because, like, I you know what I, I would do? I would hope there's a senior player in that dressing room that, says that, you, can, that you can talk yeah. to about it. Yeah, because that and, and if talk there's about not, the that's reasoning. a shit club yeah. and the reasoning the, why. Yeah, yeah, and hear them out. And maybe they can give you some advice on how to deal with it and how to deal with everyone else in that chain rooms because I can, yeah, I can empathise with that being a, a difficult situation to be in. Well, I went heaps of years always just showering in my skins. <laughs> <laughs> why is that funny? In the skins. Yeah. Always. Yeah, but why? Just through juniors. I just always done it. Yeah. And oh, then I, think, I think this should only come into play 18s and up, by the way. I don't. I don't Wait, know what how. What are you I, talking about? Actually, yeah, I'm no, talking about River. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. They're just out. You yeah, know. Yeah. yeah well, you, I mean, I mean, even if you go like um, there, it's like under 13s. You're having showers together, mate. If you go Dandy Oasis, you're going to see all types. Yeah. Okay. Actually, here's some practical advice. Open the door. Also, speak to the captain. Speak to the old older player first of all. Also, if you uh, strap for options, open the door and face the wall. Yeah. yeah. Stark ass. There you go. Open yeah. the door, face the wall, put your towel in the changing room with you. Yeah. And then you do So it's almost like a, it's like you're trying to blend in, but like you're not, you know. Yeah, you can really, there's ways. Yeah. Walk out with the towel on, put your undies on, keep the towel on. Mm. I, I think by that, look, he could be 30, but by the sounds of it, he sounds like a younger lad. Yeah. He might just yeah, be that's insecure. hard, man. Yeah. It sounds like a younger lad. So we could sit here and joke and stuff, but like poor bloke. Isn't it crazy how I, I, I don't think I ever. I mean, I remember the, my the, my earliest days going to senior chain rooms, and kind of remember like, oh, this is funny, but I never felt uncomfortable about it. And it's funny how or crazy how you you just don't think about things, and then some people are actually going through something mm. quite challenging. Like that's pretty full on. If you find that un- uncomfortable, but imagine if it's fifty bucks a week. Yeah, that's full on. Well, but I feel there is there is quite a eighty percent would shower completely naked, and then twenty with their undies on. Most change rooms, yeah. But yeah, I feel like, so. I feel like in the last, I, sh- I guess we should wrap, unless you've got anything else to say on it. I feel like at a certain level, especially MPL players, imagine if it was MPL, like you're going into a change room where everyone thinks they could have went pro, but they're shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Everyone's rocking up with Louis toiletry bags, yeah, but yeah, really yeah. they're playing at a uh, ground in Oakley or Dandy. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, and you know the change rooms are haven't been cha- uh, haven't been fixed or or you know plastered or painted in forty years. There's some pretty good change rooms. No, I know. I'm just let me just go with my agenda. All right, I do. So you're going with all these things, right? You rock up with your Balenciaga. A lot, of, a lot of these, you know, they're Yeezys and they wear uh, essentials. You know those essentials hoodies. They rocking up. They're all clean, whatever. They they take their pants off. Clean as a whistle. Not a hair. Not a dust particle in sight. Down to their knees. Not every MPL player could be like that. There's no way. There's no way. So as a kid walking in there, you see the the senior group doing it. And you might think a bit like, ah, yeah. boys, these boys are, you know, sick cunts. You know what, though? Also, f- to give you the perspective of understanding what they're thinking, they don't care, bro. They don't care, obviously. No and I one feel like, cares, bro. No, I'm all. not sure. That's why they've got and it they're out. they're trying yeah. to support. They, they, they don't care, bro. No, I feel like also, <clears throat> is he getting fined? I hope he isn't. If he is, then that's another thing. Because I've been in senior change rooms where the youngsters, to be fair, some of them just shoot off straight away. They don't even shower. Yeah. And the captains aren't pinning them. Well, he says, you know? they find me. Yeah. yeah. They better not be. If not, call yeah. us in as well. We can come and have a chat. Hey, them. you know, I remember Gordon Ramsay used to go into restaurants and fix yeah. shit up? Yeah, we can come we'll in. We'll come in there. What? Why does he have to add that in? I was talking about the dimensions of the change room. <laughs> The doors, <laughs> so you can yeah. move the doors Remove off. The your doors. brain, I don't know where your brain's going. Um, what about, hey, question, after soccer Last fives? Thing. After soccer fives, I've are you no taking money. a shower or not? <clears throat> I've never, ever, ever, and I haven't even played that many games, ever showered at a club. Fuck. Ever. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, I ever. can see that. I can so see it on your face. When, yeah, I, whenever I met, when I first met you, I thought, this guy doesn't shower at clubs. He doesn't, he doesn't shower. <laughs> he, he just... Finishes the game and gets in his car. Yeah, boots I still on and drives off. Now I, <laughs> I couldn't. Do I didn't that. even run. I didn't run much, so I wasn't. I was never the super sweaty, super stinky guy. Yeah. So there was that. I was comfortable for being a little bit dirty for for 10, 15 minutes, and then having the comfort of my own shower. That's cool though. Not that ha- is good. Not having to wear my yeah. slides and you know who the can fu- I? Who cleans the NPL showers? Let's be real here. <laughs> When was the last time they were disinfected properly? Hey, yeah, I've got the best ending is this. Getting home from training or a game where you're a youngster and it's freezing. Oh, it's yeah. winter. Yeah, it's winter. No. And you jump <laughs> in the shower Bro, and your Stinks. hands just, oh, that Bro, feeling. I was thinking when he was that warmth. The thinking, that warmth. There's nothing better than that warmth. And there's... And the mud's running off your knees. Oh, and you're just scrubbing yeah. it like you're, you're exfoliating your body. Exfoliating. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you get out and you oh, miss the spot? You know what I used to love? <laughs> I used you know to what? miss little spots yeah. like on the back of my calf. Like you know what I used to love? When you used to slide tackle and you get that rip and you used to jump in the salad, sting. Oh, you love that. Yeah, I used to love that. The best part of it was the the extreme cold to the hot and you get oh, that sting. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know what as well when you're young? You don't have to cook dinner. Dinner's cooked, bro. I used to love... You're in the shower. You don't need to rush to shower because you've got to get into bed. Get out. You're going to get out and dinner's going to be there. That's trackies on. Tuck the socks in like that. Yeah. Tuck your... your, You used to tuck your t-shirt into your trackies underneath. You'd have your your soccer doona. Yep. Soccer doona. Then you sit down on the couch... And then your dad starts screaming, you played shit today. No, no, we, yeah, I didn't. Little dad, you, <laughs> no, no, I used to get getting personal. I used to get... That only me. I'd come out. That only me. I'd be there in me PJs. Well, I didn't have PJs. I'd just be in a jersey. And dad would cook me some um, two-minute bacon... What are they? Bacon and egg? No, not bacon and egg. Baked beans. Baked beans. Ooh. Oh, you guys... Shit smell yourself. like shit. I hate Okay, that. so you got abused and you had baked beans. So I had it the best. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> because I had it like this. No matter how bad I played, my mum would say I played good. And I'd say to my dad, did you see my goal? Yeah, I saw it. It was at the start. No, it wasn't. It was a last minute winner. Ah, yeah, yeah, I think I saw it. Anyway, here's lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, uh, whatever. I had it the best, I think. Come on, Max, let's go watch TV. Yeah, English Premier League. Yeah, let's go play FIFA, Maxi. <laughs> Oh man, the good old days I need now. To go home. Talking about dinner, I need to nah. Have... That cold shower has to be number one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, who needs a guest? Am I right? I don't. 
want anymore. Yeah, you know what? We're done <laughs> forever. <laughs> Unless you, we've had previous conversations with you, which we'll be doing next week, hopefully. I just want to give a <laughs> shout out to Jack. Unbelievable, those jerseys. Luke. Luke, sorry. Luke. Luke. Quality. And shout out uh, Decker. Hey, Dex. I need to go home and do some I reckon we should get Dex on. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to exfoliate too. <laughs> well and truly. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we go, please like and subscribe and all that stuff, yeah? Like, subscribe, like, five stars, comment. <laughs> Saying it like he's in their face. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. do all that mm-hmm. stuff, cuz. Because <laughs> uh, it helps us out. And, um, yeah, we'll be doing some, you know, a little cool comp for the Euros as well. So, so keep posted on that. Ooh. But, but yeah, by the, by the time um, this episode comes out, I think the next day the Euros starts. So, wow. uh, let's get man. into it, man. Suited and booted. Can't wait. Jerome, Gav, Rash, Nor. Grazie. Grazie.